today we are starting our new 30 day challenge. I can, I will. It is gonna be so, so much fun. We are gonna have an EMOM every Monday, so that's what we're having today. Now if you've never done an EMOM before, it stands for every minute on the minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a certain amount of reps with a few exercises or just one exercise. You'll complete those reps. Whatever time you have left in that minute is rest or active rest if you want to. And as soon as the next minute starts, that's we're gonna, when we're gonna start our new set of exercises. So either one or two of them. So I'll explain to you everything that we're gonna do. We'll go through the movements before we actually get into the workout. That way you're all set, you're all ready to go. We're gonna be doing five sets of each exercise. There's gonna be 25 of those total. So I hope you're ready for this. You know, like the first two sets, you're like, this is gonna be a piece of cake, this is fine. And then you get into the third and the fourth and you're like, I get it, I, why am I here? And then fifth one, you just, you're loopy. So get ready to get loopy with me. Let's warm up first and yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start with a basic warm up first. Let's start by bouncing it out and then rotating those arms forward, really warming up the shoulders. Keep that core nice and strong. Three, two, and then bring it all the way back. Big circles, big rotations, really opening up that chest and that back. Three, two, one. And from here, we're going to go with some back lunges. So we're going to alternate those legs. Now you want to make sure you have a nice flat back. You keep your chest up. You can lean forward slightly though. And you also want to make sure your knee's not collapsing in. So nice, even distribution of weight on that front foot. Let's go three more. That doesn't make sense, Kat. Let's go two more. <laughs> we won't be even on the legs and butt kicks. A little bit rusty, guys. A little bit rusty. <laughs> Drive those knees in front slightly. Kick that booty in back. Let's go for three, two, and one. All right, from here, we're gonna walk it forward into an inchworm plank. And from here, we're gonna press back into down dog and then shift back into plank. So really think about keeping that core strong. Make sure you're not dipping your lower back here. Press back, keep your hands where they are. That's a common mistake I see is people walk their hands back. You just wanna think about pushing your hips up to the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are. So two more. Last one, and nice job. Go ahead, left foot to the outside of the left hand, open up that chest, and we're gonna alternate those legs. Alternate legs, alternate sides. Keep it going. Step, and open, and step, and open. Here we go, three more. This time, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's go, last one. And nice job. Go ahead and come down to the ground, onto the knees. We're gonna have our fingertips facing out. The closer your hands are, the more intense of a stretch this will be for your wrists and your forearms. So we're going side to side on this one. Getting those wrists and those forearms, because we will be doing some movements today. <laughs> Herpes. Um, <laughs> that we wanna make sure they're ready for. And go ahead, clasp those hands together and those elbows together. We're gonna do some circles. Nice circle, circle. And then all the way back. Woo! Good. Three, two, one. And let's bring it all the way there back. We got some bicycles. Let's get that core warmed up. Make sure you're twisting to the opposite side knee. Always wanna make sure we are warm, ready for our workout so we don't have any injuries. None of that business. Let's go four, five, four, three, two, one. Apparently I like odd numbers. And let's come on up. Bounce it out, jumping jacks. Touching the hands at the top, jumping the feet out wide. Again, really keeping that core strong. We're gonna warm up for a little bit longer and then we're gonna go over the movements so you guys are ready for the workout. Two, one, nice job. Shaky, shaky. Hands on the hips, 
feet out wide, hip circles. Bring it around time, just like SpongeBob. Make sure you have a nice flat back, push your butt back. You want to act like you're going under a bar, sideways limbo, <laughs> and go the other way, all the way around. Nice job, guys. Today I'm going to be using a pair of 15 pound dumbbells and 25 pound. So remember to challenge yourself with weights. And go ahead, bounce out. We're going to finish out with some skaters. So we're going to go side to side, try to hover that back foot. So make sure you're going heavy with weights as long as you can keep perfect form. You can always drop the weights down. But we're here to challenge ourselves and to remember that lifting heavy does not make you bulky. Almost there, guys. Four, three, two, one, and let's go over the movements. All right, guys, so the first set on our EMOM is going to be 12 squat jumps and 12 switch lunges. So remember to push your butt back, sink down, come up. You're going to do 12 of these. You need to take the jump out, you can. And then you're going to do 12 switch lunges total, okay? After that, whatever you have left is a break if you have any at all. Then we have 12 single arm push presses. So for this one, start with my 25. You're going to sink down, use your hips, press. Sink down and press. Squeeze your butt at the top, okay? So you got 12 on one side and then 12 on the other. After that, if you want to use a dumbbell as a marker, you can. We're going to do side to side burpee jump overs. So all the way down, up, and then jump, okay? So that counts as one. <laughs> um, take your time on that one, kind of. If you need to modify any of these reps, do it. Do it, this is your workout. Then we have 20 dumbbell squats. So a few options. You can grab two dumbbells, hold them like this, and do the squats. Or you can hold it, make it a front squat, or what I will probably do is make it a back squat, okay? So a few options there. Then we have 12 tricep push-ups, and then 50 mountain climbers to finish it out. So you're gonna keep your elbows in, press, you can come down to the knees, and then 50 mountain climbers total. Now, if you don't have time to do the 50 mountain climbers, because you're still working on your tricep push-ups and you need an extra break, do that. This is your workout. This is all for you, okay? So, we are gonna get started. I'm excited. All right, guys, so as soon as I click this, there is no turning back. I do have the, the movements in the description for you. So if you need that, copy and pasta onto a Word document, which is what I have right now on my computer. All right, so 12 squat jumps, 12 switch lunges. Let's go, start now. That's it. <laughs> Four. Keep it going, guys. Woo. Hello, legs. I'm gonna try not to count out loud, so that might mean I'm a little bit quieter in our workout. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep track. And, whew, okay, 34 seconds left. There should be a timer now. That was really fun to make. So I'm gonna do some butt kicks as active rest. You don't have to. Again, first round is gonna seem easy as pie. <laughs> Get ready for 12 single arm push presses. I'm using my 25 to start out with for as long as I can. Four, three, two, one. You can probably go heavier. Then a normal press. 40 seconds. Yes. This side's harder for me. Remember, it's not a full squat. Whew. I think I did. Oh, one more for good measure. All right, we got those side to side burpees. I'm gonna take a break. I'm not gonna do active rest. <laughs> a 
Well, I know what's happening next. Okay, get ready, guys. Five. Okay, three, two, let's go. You don't need to do chest to floor. If it's too much, squats. <laughs> I just know how I'm going to feel in a little bit. <laughs> Three, two, let's go. 20. You don't need to use weight. Make sure you're not hyperextending the spine which means pushing your hips too far forward. Squeeze your butt, but keep your spine neutral. Keep it going. Okay, one more, yeah. 20 seconds. We those tricep push-ups. 50 mountain climbers. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. It's a little bit cold. I'm not used to that in my lungs. <laughs> Three, two, one, but like we learned from our last challenge, start with an excuses. And then keep your neck neutral. Uh, Okay. Okay. 40 seconds. Keep going. Okay. 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. 12 squat jumps. So such lunges. So if it's been a while since you've done that cardio, just know that it's gonna feel real hard. Or if the weather's changing by you, or if you have allergies, it's gonna be harder. It's okay. Okay. Back to those squat jumps. 12. And then 12 such lunges. Up, guys. Okay. Oh, 30 seconds. Go ahead, do active rest, jummy jacks, butt kicks, high knees. It's gonna be a no for me. <laughs> Ooh, so sniffies. Okay. We got those 12. Push presses, each side. I'm gonna stick with my 25 for as long as my body allows, with good form. Let's go. Sniffling. Okay. 
Honestly, anything's warmer than the Warrior Arch Island. So I'm fine. <laughs> okay, let's go. Keep going. Come on, guys.
Oh gosh. Okay. Third round. That's only 36 burpees left. It's not bad. <laughs>
and so can you. And that's why I called that challenge this. <laughs> I sound drunk. Okay. Let's go. Drunk on taking foot. Hold on. Push with me.
We did so many already. Might as well do a few more. Last time. Ugh, okay. Heavy weights. 
if you can keep good form or perfect form. Cross it over, left arm to the left, look over the left side. Ooh. And bring it back to center. It is light here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and roll over onto your tummy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Elbow under the shoulder. Really dig those elbows in the ground. Pull towards your feet. Press your hips on the ground. Open up your chest. Relax your face. So you should in your lower back. Go ahead, hands by the chest. Press up, bringing your big toes together. Sit back all you can, and then you can move side to side. So you should feel this in the hips. You guys, I can't tell you how proud I am of you <laughs> for showing up, for finishing. Go ahead, walk it back, bringing those knees together. Have your hands behind you, and we're gonna roll back on those ankles. Getting some mobility there, because if you don't have mobility, what does not bend breaks. So if you roll your ankle and you're more mobile, less likely to hurt yourself. Then go ahead and bring your right leg forward. Press into it. Oh, you should feel some of the left hip flexor in the back, right here. You can't see, but it's like right here on the other side. Oh goodness. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch sides. I can, I will. I'm telling you guys, if you're mentally there, you're mentally telling yourself that you got this, that you can push through, man, you will go so far. You will go so, so far. Not in just your workouts, but in life. So go ahead and bring it back. And let's go to crisscross applesauce. Whew. Okay. And from here, go tall on the spine. We're gonna take our right hand to the left knee, left hand back. Inhale, go tall. Exhale, twist, turn, look over your left shoulder. Nice again, spine twist. Really great if you have a desk job, especially. You don't have to sit a lot. Slowly bring it back. Okay, before we go to the other side, hands onto the knees, cat cow, a variation right here. So you're gonna inhale, bring your chest through, open up. Exhale, round the back, tuck your chin in your chest. Inhale, pull it through. Exhale, in. Inhale, pull it through. Exhale. And go ahead, shaky, shaky. Left hand to the right knee, right hand and back. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist and turn. Slowly bring it back. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. We're going to bring um, our feet out wide. I'm not going to face you because that's a little bit awkward. Okay. Toes facing out. Really dig your heels in the ground. Hands behind you on those fingertips. Shift forward and back. There. And go ahead, bring it in. Ooh, sticky, sticky. All right, guys, so you can go ahead and you can lay down if you want to. We're gonna go through a mini meditation because I like to do this after we've worked our bodies to also focus on our minds, our mental health. So go ahead, wherever you wanna be, close your eyes, big inhale. Big inhale. Exhale. You guys keep on going through your breaths, whatever you want, normal breathing, big breaths. I'm going to talk you through our many meditation. This morning, I turned the shower on, hopped in, and I was suddenly so grateful. Because I thought, oh my gosh, with just the turn of this knob, I have hot water. I have water <laughs> itself. I can be clean when I want to. 
I have this unlimited supply of warmth, cleanliness, hydration. And it's the little things that we often forget to be grateful for because we focus on what's wrong, what can we improve on. And it's okay to really think about, hey, I can do better. Or, you know, I wish it was this way. But we often forget to be grateful for what is right now and all the little things. So I want you to think about a little thing or a big thing. Like even when I sprained my thumb, it was hard to turn a doorknob. It's those little things we take advantage of. Our health, water, safety, friends, family. So really think about one thing that you're so grateful for that is in your life that's a constant that you might have forgotten about. Big inhale, exhale. Big inhale, that gratitude. Exhale. One more big inhale. Exhale. And go ahead, slowly open your eyes. Clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in. Big inhale. And exhale. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for today. We finished day one. I'm so jazzed. <laughs> I'm so jazzed. I'm going to come closer. 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 <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So I want you guys to take that meditation with you. So, so important just to remember like the little things. Or maybe a bigger thing like having someone in your life that is always there for you and you never really thanked them for it. So even if you like write a letter to them or just send them a text saying thank you so much for spreading that joy and that kindness and that gratitude. It makes the world so much lighter. I know there's a lot going on, but in our, in our worlds as we keep on spreading it to our inner circles, then they'll keep spreading it and it'll just radiate the world a little bit or a lot of it brighter. So thank you guys again so much for joining me. Um, Day two, again, is gonna be an upper body strength workout. So I will see you tomorrow. Please do like the video before you go and then write a comment. Both of those things really help on my video. Please let me know how you did in this. If you needed a pause, that's totally okay. Um, we're here to grow. We're here to get better and to improve ourselves in all the ways and not to beat ourselves up mentally for where we are right now in life. Because we can always get better, but it's okay where we are right now. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much. If you want to support my channel, I have a link down in my description with purple hearts next to it that says support my channel. Rather than that, I hope to see you guys on day two, and I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. All right? Roar.